morning guys and uh, welcome to Thursday's Reflection. Um, I'm going to talk about favourites. Um, I've, just, I've just been thinking um, about favourite things and uh, what, what, what has been, during lockdown, what has been my favourite things to do? Um, a bit puzzling sometimes and you, and you may not be able to answer that yourself, but have, have a think, what is the, uh, what's the favourite things you've been able to do? Uh, hobbies, but um, it could be cooking. Um, I've experimented more cooking, I think. So it's probably one of my favourite things to do. So what well, what I've got is I've got a picture to show you first. Uh, hopefully you can see that quite okay. Um, and that is, is a sort of a favourite picture of mine. Now this was um, sort of given. Uh, we, we used this at the staff retreat last year, and. Uh, this picture um, is quite special to me. Um, favorite picture of mine. Now, the reason being is it's it's about my journey. Um, so it's one of my favorite pictures. It's it's quite standard. It's it's a bike next to a seaside, and you might think, well, that's a bit boring, um, but it's actually one of my favorite pictures. Um, for me, you see, it, it, again, it's about my journey. Obviously, bike can take one journeys. Um, my dad was the one who got me into church um, through the Boys Brigade. Uh, and my dad worked at Rally, so that's why the bike's there. Uh, and the seaside um, on the picture was, was quite relevant to, to my journey as well, because um, with, my, with my journey, uh, it started by, by me and Cheryl and, and uh, the kids going on holiday to Woolacom Bay. And what we decided to do from there was, it was an April evening, we were on the beach. Uh, it was so beautiful. It was like, um, I was already doing the job um, part-time in Nottingham at my own church in Clifton. Um, but I wanted to do more. I wanted to do it full-time. I didn't want to do lots of part-time jobs and things like that. So what happened was, uh, we decided that actually, let's, let's make a break for it and let's go full time on this because it was an enjoyable enjoyable job I wanted to do more and more um, so with the picture there obviously it's at the seaside the bike at the seaside is my dad on the journey the part is the, the seaside is the place where we decided to move uh, to, to do the moves um, and the moves I've had are both been in Horsham and Preston which ironically are 20 minutes away from seaside places so Horsham was close to Brighton and Worthing, and obviously um, Preston close to Blackpool. So worked out as a bonus because we can visit the seaside quite quickly, uh, even on the rain days here. Um, so yeah, um, that's, that that by reminded me of that. Now there's a picture of sand on the on the beach there, and that reminds me of my favourite poem as well. So it all ties in. My favourite poem is Footprints in the Sand, and you've probably all heard it, but I'm just going to say it again. Okay, so Footprints in the Sand is One night I dreamed a dream. As I was walking along the beach with my Lord, across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my Lord. After the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that at many times along the path of my life, especially at the very lowest and saddest times, there was only one set of footprints. Now this really troubled me, so I asked the Lord about it. Lord, you said once, I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the saddest and most troublesome times of my life, was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and will never leave you. Never ever during your trials and testings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then I carried you. So always that's my favorite poem because, um, like you know i have been through sad times i've been through rocky times and uh you know it just personally speaks to me and that's why it's sort of a favorite poem of mine it means so much to me 
um, knowing that my Lord is with me every step of the way and carries me every step of the way. Now moving, obviously you know, not giving you the full thing of everything, of uh, what, what it means to me, but moving on from that, um, favourite passages in the, in the Bible, my favourite passage in the Bible is from Hebrews 6 verse 19. Now, I'll just quickly read that to you. It is, we have this hope as an anchor for our lives. It is safe and sure and goes through the, cur the curtain of the heavenly temple into the inner sanctuary. Now, as some of you may or may not know, um, the reason that being is because that is the, the motto of the Boys Brigade, which I grew up with. Um, but being grounded, being sure and steadfast in, in my love uh, and being, you know, being grounded and, and knowing, uh, just just knowing that God is with me every step of the way leads into that footprints in the sand that I read not long ago. On the, on the, on the opposite side of that, um, so that was the favourite Bible passage, is, is a challenging uh, Bible passage in my life. But I wouldn't say it was too troubling, but it challenges me. It's the story uh, from Luke chapter 2, um, 41 to 52. And it's the boy Jesus in the temple. Now, um, some of you may, some of you may not know that I'm a stepdad. Um, daughter is, lives back in Nottingham. Um, so my, 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 say my, my, my uh, challenging Bible passage is, is where Jesus turns around to his dad Joseph and says you know in front of Mary as well you know wouldn't didn't you know that I'd be at my real father's house and that uh, strikes a chord with me sometimes because I think to myself how does how does um that relationship work after that um because that could be you know as a, as a step Joseph was a stepdad in a way um did he feel bad that jesus said that you know knowing that actually i'm not your you know i'm not your dad uh, your father dad i don't know i i'm just i'm not going deep into this at all just i'm just reflecting on what what my personal thoughts are so um please do look at it yourself and think about that so that challenging thing of you know being a step, step parent and always waiting i think for that thing of you're not my dad it covers that one um i'm just going to the favorite hymns now um my favorite hymn sort of in in as well as well so the, the modern worship um is never once by uh, matt redman now never once talks about being on a mountain top and looking down um and seeing the, the battle and the scars of battle and and um again it just speaks so much to me about my life but also knowing that god is there at the top there with me looking down because i can get through this you know um it's it struggles and scars and things like that so if you, if you get a chance to to sit to listen to that never once by matt redman and I've also got a favourite hymn um, in in the in the old you know sort of in the older books, as, as we'd probably say, um, and that is the um, six six three in singing the faith, and that six six three is I the Lord of sea and sky, uh, I have heard my people cry, um, and. It just strikes a chord with me. I mean, I had this at my uh, the um, when I started in Preston as my as my choice of him, and it says, um, "Whom shall I send?" And it's it, it was a, my calling. Uh, I think was, "Here I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in the night because that's that's when I get these messages. I get my messages usually at night. I'm a night owl." <laughs> My work is mainly at night, so um, I will go, Lord, if you lead me. 
oh Lord, your people in my heart. Um, and as you know, you know, I'm working with the kids and things like that. They're always in my heart and, you know, I want them to learn about Jesus and God. So my challenge is to you is, is, is a challenge in a way is what are your favourite things? What's your favourite things during lockdown? What's your favourite pictures? What's your favourite readings? What's your favourite stories in the Bible? What's your favourite hymns? Uh, you know, what is your favourite things? What's your cha- what challenges you in, in Bible messages and things like that? I'm going to finish off with a prayer now, and that is from the uh, Methodist Church Prayer Handbook. And it's for today's reading. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, as Andrew and Peter and James and John answered your call and left their nets to be your disciples, so give us the faith to leave behind all that would hinder us from following you. Let us never be afraid to go where you would go, or to serve all who you would serve, for you are our servant King. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Bye.